Alright, welcome to the playthrough for Snedonia base game. So I'll be playing pink, I'll be first player, I'll be playing against green and yellow. Uh, the game is already set up for three players. Um, if you need to learn how to play, click on the links or the description below to my other videos and so on. So let's just get started. So I'll be pink, I'll go get some resources up here, everyone will follow. Uh, green will go there to be first player next turn. That's what the little train icon means. Uh, I mention these cards when they flip over because it's a little tough to read from way up high. And yellow will escalate. So, every round in uh, Snowdonia is the same five steps. Step one is to place your worker. Step two is resolving those actions. So, let's resolve the action. So, uh, pink. Gonna grab three resource cubes. Uh, yellow. Gonna grab another three. Uh, green will take three, but be first player. So he'll get the uh, first player marker. Next, yellow will excavate. How excavation works, you can look at the little excavation rates too. You can grab two cubes starting from the base of the mountain. So we're going to go here and grab two cubes and we'll go into this personal supply. Keep going. I'm going to grab a card. I'll grab this card. This allows me to uh, get another two cubes in the future when doing action A. And green's going to grab. Uh, Oh boy, this card here. So step two, step three is refilling the card market here. Step four is dealing with the weather. So we're gonna look at the top card here, fog. Then we'll adjust the weather. We'll move these down. And after that is five is uh, refilling the cubes up here in the stockyard. Uh, it's, you're going to look at the little chart here. It's nine cubes for three players. I've gone through liberty of pulling out nine cubes. There's an event cube, so whenever these come out, you just do the event. So here it's uh, excavate. You're going to look at the excavation rate, and you're going to remove rubble from one whole card. So there's one cube left here. The AI will build that for us. It's sort of a way for the game to push the game along, all these events. And that's it. It's turn one. Turn two. Okay, so... At the beginning of the game, it's normal that uh, everyone rushes for the resources here, because uh, you need them t for steel bars and so on, so... Uh, let's go there. Uh, Alright, so let's look at these cards here. What got turned over? This one allows you free action to uh, not use the conversion when you're building on E. This one, uh, you can do a free rubble action, which is pretty good. So, green's gonna go there. Yellow, yellow, yellow. The excavation rate and the trackling rate are pretty terrible, and nobody has steel bars. So, right now it's just a race for resources and uh, cards. And we can't build a train yet till this event comes out. So, until that happens. Kind of stuck. So right now I don't let, really like my options. So I'll just this this space here, the surveyor in the base game is sort of like a last resort action when there's not much else to do. Just do that to move up your surveyor. All right. So let's resolve. So green. We'll grab three more ore. Yellow. We'll grab. Uh, this. Now that kind of sucked because I wanted to use my card to grab two more resources, but I don't really want a lot of stone at the beginning of the game. That's to build in the station. So I'll take my three stone and keep my card for next turn because I'll be first player. Uh, where's my train? There you go. Uh, keep going down the line here. Uh, green, pick a card. 
he actually really likes this car and the uh, contract is really easy to satisfy as well you just need three stations to get six points then yellow this is a nice card here as well a little tough to do you need 16 cubes at the end of the game but the ability is really nice then my action here is pretty simple I'm just gonna take your surveyor and move them to the next spot the surveyor action is really interesting in other scenarios in the base game it's kind of neutered and that's it so now we're gonna do all this stuff which I already mentioned in the turn one uh, can't move this anymore sunny don't we'll get cubes Okay, turn three. Okay, so on turn two, uh, we got two event cubes that came out. So this one's going to allow us to buy trains from now on. That's why everyone's racing for ore, because to get trains, it takes uh, steel bars. Also, uh, we did get this event that lays track. So this first card over here is going to be uh, done by the AI. So we'll remove the card from the game. Let's keep going. So I'm going to go to the first spot so I can use my card. Green. Okay, so now that they know I have my card, I will be taking six, uh, sorry, five blocks from the market. So there'll be only four left, so they know that. So they won't both go into the uh, action A spot, but green will go get more resources. Uh, that leaves yellow, who will not go there because he's not going to waste an action to just get one, one cube. Um, I'm going to go get another card. I will grab another card. Green will move his surveyor because he has that card to move double. And lastly, yellow will. Uh... Yellow, yellow. Oh boy, these are not great options. Yellow will also move his surveyor. Because we can't build on the station yet because there's still rubble on the tracks before it. Uh... We can't build track and we don't want to excavate because the rate is really low. So there you go. Let's uh, let's execute these. So I'm going to go. I will use my card. So what happens is uh, you don't lose the contract. You just use the card. So you'll just tap it and put it on the side here uh, to signify that it was done. So I take an extra two cubes from the market. So I'll take... Uh, three or I'll take one stone to get ready uh, I got three but in the station coming up there is a spot for four stones so I'll take one of those stone and I'll start taking some coal for when I build the train Put these all here uh, green will go I'll grab uh, he's got one coal so I'll grab a second coal Go down the line. Yellow. These are all great cards. Um, I guess he is on action G this round, so he can actually use this card right away. Or... Yeah, let's take that card. Then I will go... I'll grab card E. And both of them are going to move their surveyor, but green will move double because he's going to use his uh, his uh, move surveyor card as well. Yellow will go to the first one and green will go to the second one. There you go. Let's refill. Oh boy. Okay, so on fog, what ends up happening is uh, you end up blocking the uh, lay track and excavate action for the following turn so that's not good so the board's gonna get quite uh, limited next turn uh, next we'll pull the cubes from the bag well that's unfortunate we did grab the event that blocks off the station so the game's moving quite fast so nobody can build in that station uh, we're gonna have to raise up the mountain 
Uh, all right, first player again. So let's actually go for some conversion. So I can get some steel bar to maybe buy a train, but the event to pay for that train is coming up really fast, so it'll be tricky. Uh, yeah, green. We'll go grab some. There's also only one conversion spot for three players, so it's sort of a race to go there every round. So we can't do these actions, so we'll go grab resources. Uh, yellow doesn't actually care which resources to get, so they'll be first player for next turn. I'll put my last worker here to get resources. And finally green will take a card. So, uh, we got yellow. Yellow will... Yellow will grab a card as well. So, resolve. Green will go. I'll take uh he's got the card that scores him extra points for coal, so I'll grab some coal every round. I will go. I'll grab this just as a reminder of what I have. Got a ton of resources now. Yellow will go, be first player, grab these last three cubes. Also, the danger of grabbing a lot of cubes is there's going to be the event cubes in the bag, so there's a higher chance that we grab them. Uh, actually, I did forget to return uh, cubes 1, 2, and 3 into the bag. I'll do that now. And I will go. So this is the conversion. So the way that works is uh, three times you can do conversions. I don't have any rubble, and I can only convert twice. So what I'll do is I'll convert these six ore into two steel bars. Got my first steel bar. Turn these to the back. Uh, green will grab a card. He'll take this card here. Yellow will grab a card. I'll grab this card here. And that's it for the actions. Refill the contract row. Uh, just for weather. So this will go up twice and this will go up once. Looking at the chart. Then it will be sunny. And then we'll refill the nine cubes. So we did draw the uh, vent cube here that removes rubble from uh, the three cards because the activation rate is three so these three and the uh, rubble on the station itself went away so the game's moving quite fast also i forgot to remove the fog i just removed it now all right so next turn yellow will go next uh gonna go here now i really wanted to use my stone this turn and build at the station but because i know yellow went there and he doesn't have any steel bars to buy train i know for sure he's gonna use his stone there so I won't be placing my meeple there that round. Uh, what else can I do? Oh boy. I don't want to buy a train either because the event for the train's coming up. And I'm just going to end up losing the train right away. So it's going to be a waste of two steel bars. So that'll be a disaster. So I will grab more resources. And because there's a ton of ore, I'll place them in the last spot here to become first player next turn. Uh, green will go. So what Green will do is he'll want to excavate, the excavation rate is pretty good, uh, and he'll place it on the second one, he'll excavate second. There's some strategy in going first or second depending on where you are in the mountain, so if somebody takes off a lot of cubes here, he can actually excavate after into the station to score the points. Uh, yellow, 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 yellow will... Uh, Uh, yellow will grab some cubes. I will look at some of these cards. I actually really like the excavation card here. And what green will do, he'll use both his actions this round to excavate. He's got something up his sleeve. 
Uh, Alright, let's do our actions here. So yellow is going to go. Grab three, three cubes. I'm going to go. I'll be first player and I'll grab three cubes. Just a reminder of what I have right now. Now green will go. So green will uh, use this card here. Whenever you take the excavation action, you will double that rate. So if we're looking at the excavation right now, it's three. So he's going to remove six cubes. Put into his personal supply. That's one. And then he will excavate again for three. So he's going to do one, two, three. And because he removed the markers off the station, he's going to place his little marker there. That does it for green. Got a lot of rubble. Yellow is going to go. Yellow will use his card here. To uh, build a, on a station with one less stone. So he'll give up his one stone, put up his marker on the station. Then I will go and grab a card. Let's look at these cards. This is the double excavation, which is nice. And all the actions are done. Now we refill. Rain, and it's gonna be foggy again. Uh, that's it. Let's refill the cubes. Okay, we got two uh, event cubes this last round, which is good because now we bypass this uh, maintenance, so we'll be able to buy a train this round without losing it. And we also got a late track action, so for one, the AI will build this track here. So nobody's been successful laying any track, but uh, hopefully further on we'll be able to. Uh, so who's first player? I'm first player, so let's get going. Uh, so I'm going to go by that train right away. Green will go. So they both have a lot of resources, so he'll go to the conversion to make sure he's not blocked out of that. So yellow really wanted that, so now that sucked. So yellow, yellow. Yellow does not need more cubes. Yellow really needs steel bars, but he can. So he'll go for the first player marker. We can do that for sure next turn. Uh, I will actually, looking around the table, nobody has three stones. So I'll go get the high point stone marker over there. Uh, green will go next. Oh boy. Uh, these cards are not great because they're for trains and they don't have any trains yet and this one it's not great to change the weather disk. He wants it to go up. Uh, damn fog. Uh, I'll go grab more cubes. And lastly yellow will uh, he'll follow green up the mountain. Okay, let's resolve. So green will grab three cubes. Yellow will grab three cubes and we'll take the first player marker. Now green will convert three times. We've got nine ore, so that's great. We'll get his three, three steel. Okay, I'll get to do this action twice. So what I'll do first is I'll turn in three stone to build into that station there. So I'll grab one of my markers and put on the highest point value here. Seven points, pretty good. And then for my second action, I will use a, I'll use this card here. So here's whenever you use action E, you can turn in three uh, ore to get a steel bar. So that's like uh, getting a free conversion. So what I'll do is I'll tap it and use up my three ore. And an extra steel to buy a train. 
So looking at these trains, they're all pretty good. Um, these top three are my favorite. This one allows you to get an extra cube every time you do action A. This one allows you to convert at two to one instead of three to one. And this one allows you to excavate uh, plus two. I mean, we do have a lot of cards with rubble on them, but we do need to lay a lot of track too. Ah, boy, boy, boy. So what I'll do is I'll grab, uh, I'll grab this one here. Now this one goes in front of us. So now whenever we do action space E, we can get convert for two to one instead of three to one. But what more importantly, the reason I got a train is from now on, it's great. We can use a coal to get that extra third worker from the pub. And that was this worker. And yellow is going to go. It's going to move up his surveyor. But my guys are a little behind on the track. There we go. That's it. So now it's refill. Move these up. Move the sunny. Move up the tracks here. I won't forget to move the fog this time. And now let's pull the cubes. Alright, so before drawing the nine cubes, I did actually uh, add these cubes back into the bag, which I forgot to do. Uh, again, I did draw two more event cubes. I seem to be drawing a lot of those, so it's pushing the game along. Uh, so the first one is build station. Like before, we're going to look up the mountain, find the first spot that has not 100% complete, and we'll put a do not build. No, one's, no one was going to really build there anyway, so that's okay. And the next one is uh, the rubble. So we're going to look at the... Oh, boy. So it's going to remove rubble from four. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. So we're going to remove all this rubble up here. There's some scoring opportunities that are gone now. And now it's too difficult. All right, so let's get started. Yellow is going to go first, so he's going to do what he really wanted to do last turn. So start off with the conversion here. Uh, I'm going to go next. So what am I holding on to here? I have the double excavation action, which is not bad because it will give me some free points there. Uh, yeah, so that's a little bit. And I'll go on the first one so, so that I can uncover that spot. Green will go lay track. Actually, he will go get a train first. Uh, what is yellow gonna do? Yellow. Yellow is gonna convert and then use his conversion to lay track. I. I will. I will. I will. I really need coal cubes, and there's none that came out. I need coal cubes to power up my third worker. Uh guess I'll go lay track. I did forget to flip this card over. Also, keep in mind that I do really need to lay some track because my objectives here are to lay track and to get a lot of rubble, which I'm suffering on right now. Uh, yeah. And then green, green, green. Green. Green will be first player for next game. So, we'll resolve. So green will be first player. And he'll take three cubes. He'll take three, four. I'm gonna go excavate. So I'm gonna use this card so I can do a double excavation action, and it's nice because the excavation rate right now is four. So we're gonna remove uh, eight cubes. So we're gonna remove four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, uh, because we completely uh, completed all the uh, rubble cubes off the station, we'll put our marker in there. Um, all right, next, next is the conversion. So just like uh, green before, it's gonna use nine to get three steel bars, which is nice. Uh, then yellow is gonna go. So lay track. So he's gonna use one one of those steel bars. It is actually two. Hmm. Okay, so 
Yeah, so the rules are if the rate is two and you do have two steel bar, you must build two track. So he'll actually give up his two steel bar to build two track. So he'll build a two pointer and a uh, one pointer here. A uh, two pointer and a four pointer there. Then I will lay track. So I only have one steel bar. So I'll turn that in. Put out my marker. And green will go. So green's going to want to build a train. So he'll give up his uh, two steel over here. And build the. Uh, you know what? He really likes this train down here. So this allows him to get a free E action every turn. And there you go. So let's refill the market as per usual. Move up the weather. Let's down. And it's going to rain. Uh, let's realign these and we'll go grab our cubes. All right, turn eight. So no uh, event cubes were taken, which is good because uh, let's look at our tableau here. Uh, so I'm going to shoot for this, so I just need four rubble and another track. Uh, there's only five tracks left, so trying to complete this one too would be close to impossible to get three out of five. And this one here, unless I'm getting a ton of rubble, will be also hard to do. I'm, I'm going to shoot for some station cards, maybe like this one, because I am on a couple of stations and I don't have any station objectives. So it's nice to spread the wealth in your uh, contract cards so you can score on many different things. So uh, also at the start of the round, I forgot to mention, uh, both uh, uh, green and uh, pink are gonna use a coal cube to uh, get their extra workers from the pub. And that's nice for green as the first player. So green, green, green has a ton of rubble, but no objective for rubble, which sucks because can't get one right now. So he does have a steel bar. And there's a track there, so he's going to go jump on that track because he has a track objective as well. Then it's going to be Yellow's turn. Yellow is really dying for a train. But he needs resources too, so he's going he's gonna to try to be first player for next turn. He doesn't really care what resources he gets. There's a ton of ore anyway, so he'll sure to get some ore. I will jump in and get that one spot there. So to make sure that I get that cold cube to to fuel my extra work every round. Uh, green, green does not want to get shut out of resources, so he'll go there. Yellow will go get his train. What will I do? Looking at my tableau, I got three stone. I really need some rubble cubes. So let's go dig. Green, green, green does not need more rubble cubes. Green could actually go converting to get steel bars. And I will... I could excavate again, which will give me enough to finish that objective. Which wouldn't be so bad. But then I really like this card. Uh, and it might come in handy to lay extra track. Oh boy. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, there will be another track, but I don't, ha I don't have steel bars. So, what I will do is uh, excavate again. Why not? Let's do that. So, let's uh, let's trigger this. So, I'll go first. So I'll get two ore, uh, two ore and a coal. And green's gonna go next. So what does green need? Green will likely get a lot of... So he's got four ore. So let him get two more. And go like that. Because he gets a free build on the east step. So he wants to get a lot of these stones. So he can build a lot. The yellow is going to go. He's going to be first player. Can't forget to pass that train around. He's going to get three resources. So he really needs to build up his uh, steel production. Uh, then I will go twice, so I'll take six cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So I just need one more track here. Need one more track to satisfy this, and I'm halfway to that too. It's pretty good. So that'll take care of these two guys. Um, next is green. He's gonna do conversion. He'll do. Get these guys up. He'll do six ore and two rubble. So now the stone actually comes from the bag, not from the marketplace. So he'll get that. Then he'll turn in those two for two more steel bars. Uh, so that's that action. Next, he'll lay track. So he'll turn in one of his steel bars because the rate is one. He'll lay one track. There's only. Uh, actually, I was supposed to flip this over. Can't forget to do that. So he'll put his marker on this track here. They're both three, so it doesn't really matter. Can't really see it, can you? Try to move the board down. There you go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, that was this action. Now yellow is going to finally get her, his train. Because he was hurting for a train, so he'll turn in a steel. And you know what? He'll get the one that lets him take turns. And then maybe he'll switch to the 9.1 later. That's it. So we'll flip these down. Weather, sun. Take that down. And then we'll refill our cubes. All right. So we did draw that extra. Uh, track uh, event card so these two will disappear because the rate is two so they'll build both these so we'll move these two from the game uh one thing i did forget to do is the it's gonna be hard to keep track of but the green player has that uh, free e action every round so he, he turned in his four uh, stone to get the juicy nine point uh, uh marker over there uh at the start of the round we're all gonna pay our three uh, coal to each get our three extra workers. So it's gonna be yellow first player. Uh, let's see, what does he want to do? He's gonna want to get resources as well. Uh, he's got plenty of coal. Uh, let's see, what is he trying to do? He's he needs a ton of rubble, and the, the the rate is four, which is the perfect time to go. So let's 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 go there. Uh, I need to go first to try to get this coal to, you know, keep getting that coal every round. Uh, what does green want to do? Green needs to lay one more track and put out three markers. Markers going to be fine. He needs a lot of stone because he gets that free action every turn. So he doesn't mind going last because nobody's going to go for the stone but him, I don't think. Uh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow is an objective with 16 excavation markers. Oh boy. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's keep digging. I don't know if he'll reach 16, but he'll keep going. What will I do? I can. I'll run a conversion to get steel bars. Green will. There's this nice objective that uh, Pink will try to get after. Green will jump in and steal some resources some more. That sucks for Yellow. Yellow really wanted those resources. Uh, crap. So. Gonna be one track to lay, but he doesn't have ore, uh, doesn't have steel. So yellow will go build, pink, I'll go get a card, and green, 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 green. You know what? Green's gonna move his surveyor. Why not? Alright, so let's ex execute this. So pink's gonna go first. Uh, I will grab. I have I have five ore right now, so I'll take 
I need to grab my coal for sure for next round. And I'll take two ore and one one coal. And green's gonna go twice in a row, so they're gonna get six cubes. So he's gonna want a ton of these to fill up all the spots. One, two, three, four. So let's get four. You know what? Let's go crazy with the stone. He's gonna go finish all those stations. Yellow's gonna excavate twice, that's eight cubes. It's a ton of cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, next excavation is gonna be nice. It is a, uh, but most likely, there's a good chance that it'll be an event that triggers it again. This all goes to yellow. Because this uh, is a six, but it's nine points, which is nice. Uh, there you go, that's yellow. And I'm going to run a conversion. So remember, I get to convert two to one. So I'll convert for two steel and one stone. There's my two steel. I'll get the stone from the bag. Here we go. Let's look at our tableau here for a second. Should be okay. Uh, next is yellow. Yellow will use three stone to build a marker on a three stone space so that one's gonna give six points six points that one gives six points that one gives seven uh seven points so we'll go here now can't forget green gets the free action every turn so he'll pay his three stone do the same thing but he'll put it on the you know he'll put it up here in the six space here I'll grab a card, I'll grab this nice uh, four station point card here. I grabbed it more for the, the points than the actual ability. I probably won't be able to trigger this. I forgot to flip this over. And then lastly, green's gonna move the surveyor. Why not? That's it for the round. So now we're gonna move this, slide everything over. Oh, sunny. Gonna do this, add a sun, move down the markers, move the sun, and we're gonna refill the market. Alright, well, as I thought, we ended up drawing two event cubes. So the first one is a station. So, like before, we'll find the first station that's not 100% full, put this marker on it. Nobody can build there now. And here we go, the rubble action. <laughs> this is gonna hurt, but uh, it is three. So, three spots one, two, all this rubble is going to be gone. So all those objectives that need rubble are going to be a little tougher to get. Let's to flip over. Okay, so. Uh, also, I did put the vent crews back in the bag at the end of the round. Alright, so at the start of the round, we're each going to turn in a coal cube. It just makes sense. Into the bag. So that we all get our workers back. So green's first player, green's gonna go. So what is green trying to do? Green is on, green, need, green needs more houses. Actually, no, he's already got that objective. Let's look at these objectives here. Ah, uh, draw the top two cards. That's not, a, that's a nice card. But uh, since he can still build for free at the end of every round E, he's just gonna go get more resources. There's not many stone left. He needs a lot more stone. So he'll go here. Yellow. Yellow is actually going to notice that it's nice to go next because the three uh, excavations going to score him five points up there. So he'll go first. And you know what? I'll follow to get the next one, which is only three points, a bit less, but I'll get it. Uh, green's going to go again. Green will go lay track because he needs one more for an objective. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow. Yellow needs a bunch of resources. Uh, could he come close to any of these? 
This is not bad. Okay, yellow, we'll go for that card. Oops. Oof, pink. Uh, let's grab some resources, I guess. I'll go first player next turn. Green. Green will try and do a double build this turn. Yellow will grab resources. And lastly, I will grab a card. So let's resolve. So green will go. We'll grab three resources. I'll grab his coal. Next, yellow. Yellow just needs. He's okay for coal. Uh, next, I will go. I'll grab two of these. Next, yellow. Yellow will excavate here and it'll reveal a nice station marker. Then I will. Then pink will go next. Do the same. Put a nice marker down. And green will lay track. He'll turn in a steel. The lay track. That's nice because it's the five pointer. It's the most in the game. That's great. So he's got his two track built. Uh, next is green will go twice in a row because he gets that extra E action. So what he'll do is. That sucks. They're kind of wasteful because it all needs three stone and he's only got five. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a bit of a waste, but, uh, Yeah. Actually, what he will do, let's let's play a little creative here. He'll turn in his three stone to put a marker on a... This is seven points up here, so he'll go get that extra point. Then what he'll do is that he'll actually turn in his uh, steel to exchange his train for the nine point train here, because we're reaching near the end of the game. And it comes with a coal, which is two points for him. So he just scored nine points there if he keeps that train till the end. Uh, so there you go. Uh, then we'll get a card. So yellow, yellow, yellow does have track laid and he'll go get this card here. And lastly, I will go and I'll grab this card and see if I can get this objective. Actually, I can use this card now. Let's draw the top two cards from the contract deck. So this is phase F and this is for phase F. So I would have taken this and then I would have used it. So it says draw two and then look at the two cards and keep this card or one of the cards that I drew. So let's look at those cards. So frankly, we're just looking at objectives at this point in the game. Uh, it's going to be hard to use these abilities because we're near the end. This one lets me do... I don't want to lose my rubble because I need them for objectives. How much rubble do I have? Let's see. I have uh, 15 rubble. Uh, not enough for both objectives. I can get rid of some rubble actually. Uh, for stone, which isn't bad. See, and if I had this card here for rubble, I can do the objective, but then I wouldn't be able to use the rubble to get the stone. So it's a catch-22. And then I have this one here, if I can lay another track. But it's a minus one stone, which is nice. So you know what, I'll take this card. Uh, so all these cards will go away. I'll take this card. Put it down. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So that's the end of the round. Again, we're going to flip these over. Gonna move these up. Gonna replace. Okay. Now, funny, funny rule. There's nothing in the game to excavate, so this space becomes kind of pointless. But they thought of that. We're gonna take this replacement card and put it right on top. So now there's gonna be three spots to build stations, and two spots, uh, three spots to buy a train, and so on. So that's all that. Now we're gonna draw cubes. 
All right, so the last round of the game. Well, how do I know that? It's because the game ends when somebody built the last station, and because the station rate is two, it's almost guaranteed that'll happen this round. So this is really just a round to try and score as many points as possible. So uh, all the players, of course, will do the usual, give up one coal each to gain their extra worker. So pink goes first. Uh, so because I have that objective for rail, that's what I'm going to do right away. I'm going to jump on that. Uh, green, green. Green doesn't have a lot of resources left, like almost nothing. So he'll try to get resources before attempting any of the other stuff. Uh, and plus, if he gets coal, then those are two points each for him. So he doesn't mind doing that. Uh, yellow just has a ton of ore, actually. But... They don't want to get shut out, but they got to take a chance and nobody takes this action so they can get the resources to do that action. So you see how it is. Uh, so you know what, let's take a chance. And pink, pink will actually jump on here. Green, green doesn't want to get shut out of the building. Yellow gets lucky. Thanks everyone. Uh, then yellow, uh, uh, pink again. I mean, at this point, none of these objectives help me. So there's no point in taking a card. Although this one lets me do another E action, which is great. But it'll, but I, I only get it at the F, so I won't be able to use these actions. So let's just move our surveyor up at this point. Uh, green will actually grab more resources. It doesn't really need them, but... Remember, for every single uh, black cube, it is two points. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll grab some other resources. And then yellow. Looking at yellow's cards, ton of, ton of uh, rubble. So he'll try to get this card here. Actually, wait, let me look at the greens. Greens objectives. Actually, green would have gone there because he needs the rubble card. Then yellow. Uh, yellow is on two track. He does have a track card. Rubble, uh, yellow is going to get kind of screwed here. I'll just go for the uh, surveyor. So there you go. So this will probably be the last turn of the game. So we'll see how things turn out. So uh, green's going to go. Uh, he'll obviously take his two coal. That's four points for him of his special card and he'll take his stone so he can build with it. Uh, next so green's gonna build. So green will use three stone to put his marker on a three stone building like that. Actually he doesn't have steel so he couldn't do it with steel. So uh, yellow's gonna go conversion. So yellow has Six or so get two steel bars. And pink will build two track. I mean, I did have this ability. I didn't end up using it, but could have let me build three if I wanted to. So I will turn in my two steel, build my two track. Uh, next build. So yellow is going to go, he's going to look at what's the most points he can get on the board, which seems to be the super juicy double steel 14 point uh, mark over there. So he'll turn in his two steel that he just got and place his marker there. It's pretty nice. Uh, next I'll build, I'll do the same. I'll look for the most points. I don't have much in my tableau anymore. I have four stones, so I'll probably just end up getting rid of three. So I get rid of three stone. And place a marker on the six pointer over here. Uh, green's gonna go. He's gonna grab the rubble card, which he needs. Put a couple more points for him. And lastly, uh, pink and yellow will move up their surveyor. Pink and yellow. 
So there you go. So that triggered endgame because somebody did build the last track. Uh, it ends at the turn at the end of this turn, so that's how it is. So we won't bother with the cleanup. We'll just calculate it and we'll be back with the points. Oh well, there you have it. Green wins because of that uh, train that he used that uh, that nice combo on to get it uh, when he couldn't use it as an E action. So just to show you how this is calculated uh, for the pink score. So what you're going to do is pretty much on, along the track, you're just going to add up all the point scoring on the bottom right of the card. You're going to see who has the train. So that's this part and this part. Then you're going to figure out who you, where your surveyor is. You're going to score on the bottom right of where they are on the track. So nobody got that high on up the track. And lastly, you're going to check objectives. So let's take a, take a look at these. So I actually figured out that doing these four would actually bring me more points than just doing this one uh, massive contract here. So I did have three tracks laid, so that took care of one, two, three here. And you can see that I have more than 12 rubble, so that took care of this rubble and that rubble. And I did have more than four stations, so take care of that. So in total, I had uh, 47, which is the most by far, but uh, I still lost to the, uh, the green player. And there you have it. There's the base game. Uh, Check my next one for the scenarios.